Next, we want to graph 3y plus 9 equals 6x without using a table. So to do this, we are going to use our formula of y equals mx plus b. But as we can see, our equation of 3y plus 9 equals 6x isn't in our formula of mx plus b. So to do this, we need to turn this formula into y equals mx plus b by getting y by itself. So to first do this, let's subtract 9 by both sides. So we're left with 3y equals 6x minus 9. Now to get the y by itself, we want to divide both sides by 3. So we're left with y equals 6x minus 9 over 3. But again, we want to get rid of this denominator down here. So we'll break it apart so we have y equals 6x over 3 minus 9 over 3. And if we reduce this down, we get our formula of y equals 6 divided by 3, which is 2x, minus 9 divided by 3, which is 3. So now this is our new formula. Now before we graph, we want to find our slope and our y-intercept. So our slope in our formula of y equals mx plus b is always beside our x. So in our formula of y equals 2x minus 3, 2 is going to be our slope. And our y-intercept, b, is negative 3. So now that we know our slope and our y-intercept, let's get to graphing. We'll first start by placing our y-intercept on the graph. Again, our y-axis is vertical, so on the vertical axis, we'll find negative 3 and put a dot. And now our slope is positive 2. So that means we can either move up 2 and then to the right 1, or we can move down 2 and to the left 1. Let's start by moving up 2 and to the right 1. So we'll move up once and twice, and then to the right once. So our second dot is going to be right there, and we can collect our lines. And then we go up twice again, and to the right once. And then let's do it one more time where we go up twice, and to the right once. And then again, we'll put an arrowhead on the end to show that it goes on forever. Now starting back at our negative 3, we can go down twice, and then to the left once. And then again, we'll put an arrowhead. So our graph of 3y plus 9 equals 6x looks like this linear line.